juice is for me. The fruit bars that I forgot to film me grab for me. Apple slices, these are for me. And these are for whoever wants some. So I'm over here at Scooter Zone. We're not open yet, uh, but I gotta be here because I'm, I'm waiting for a shipment of scooter parts to come in so that we can have more stock over here at the shop as well as on our online store, which if you haven't checked out our online store, it's www.thescooterzone.com. If you guys need some scooter parts, cruise over there, check us out. Um, but I was at the skate park this morning. I was gonna ride, but I got, I got that call. I, we need those parts. So I'm over here now, I have my scoot. I have a rail and a box which I'm probably just gonna use the rail because I don't like this box that much. I kinda suck at it. But let's get some clips. this rail session too that I should probably tell you guys about. The ramp is showing up tomorrow. So this is actually the last rail session that we're gonna be having here at the zone. Out, well, at least in the middle of the warehouse. And then we have a ramp coming soon. Whoa. That was like a good enough, like little, little quick um, little session thing. Um, but I wanna talk to you guys about like some things that are super, super cheap that you guys can get for your scooters that um, you'll actually use a lot. All the stuff on this list is stuff that I use and uh, it's, it's definitely like saved me a couple times like if I'm in a pinch or if it's just simply something that I, uh, something that I really like recommend is kind of what I'm getting at. So uh, let's start off with number one. All right, so item number one on our list is something that a lot of people kind of um, use and have, I've made a few videos on this myself, all kinds of different um, formulas, different styles, colors, things like that. Use different things for this, and uh, this item is uh, pretty simple. It's just wax. Wax is always a good thing to have in your bag, whether you're at the skate park or you're just cruising around town, maybe looking for a little street ledge or something like that to ride. This is some good stuff to have. Um, I always have like a small little bit of it in my car when I go to the skate park because uh, I like to do lip slides and things like that on quarter pipes and very occasionally I'll jump on a ledge or a rail or something like that. It's not exactly my forte, but I still have this stuff in my car just in case some other rider at the park uh, needs to use it. If they need to, I have it, so it's a good thing. Um, this specific one, this is uh, just the Envy Wax. I believe this stuff is about somewhere in like the $5-ish range, um, and I know that five bucks uh, is, is relatively inexpensive, um, but there are some pieces of wax that get into like the 10, 15, and ish dollar range, which I've never really understood why people can charge like $20 for like a small little thing of wax like this but some people do. Uh, this one in, in particular, uh, this is $3 at Scooter Zone, so it's something that's small, you can just add to your bag. Um, if you guys have like a scooter in your cart or something, you just want something small, this is some good stuff to have. Uh, there's all kinds of different colors and styles. I've also just gone to like the Dollar Tree or a 99 cent store and got just a small candle. That does the same exact thing. So if you guys are on a budget, you have like a dollar to spare, go to the 99 cent store, get a candle. If you guys got a little bit more money and you want something that's uh, gonna look a little bit better, possibly have like different colors or better yet, if you want something to like smell good, you can go to like something that's like four or five bucks and uh, get something that's a little higher quality. But yeah, wax. Definitely something good to have in your bag. That's inexpensive. Number two. All right, so item number two, uh, that's something that's really, really inexpensive that I think that you should have in your bag. Um, th these are more of like an extra item, but it's uh, bar ends. Bar ends tend to break pretty often if you're riding um, like a plastic one, but they are super inexpensive. So having a few extra pairs in your bag is not something that's gonna necessarily break the bank. The bar ends that I have in my hand right here are the NV Nylon bar ends. I think these are like four bucks for a pair. So, and, and they also come in all kinds of cool colors, different sizes as well. So if you guys ride aluminum bars, you can get some that specifically fit aluminum bars, which are these ones that I have in my hand. Uh, these are just a little bit smaller, so they'll fit nice and tight. And you also have ones that fit chromoly bars. So if you like bars that have a little more weight to them, you got bar ends that'll fit in there as well. Now, again, you can get bar ends that are a lot more expensive, like metal ones, which usually run about 10 to $15 for a pair. And those do last a lot longer. Those are the ones that I personally ride because I don't like going through bar ends super, super often. 
Um, so I, that's why I put those ones in there. And uh, But these things are super important. For those of you guys that don't ride bar ends, you definitely want to get yourself a pair because it protects uh, like the ends of your bars from getting super sharp and then you eventually cutting your hand or smashing your finger. I remember one time I smashed, uh, which finger was it? This middle finger. It's really, really bad and uh, it really sucked. And if I would have had bar ends, I would have been a lot better off. And if I would have had some extras in my bag, I could have put some in my scoop, but lesson learned, you should have a pair of bar ends in your bag or just have a fresh set in your scoot just in case you drop your scoot, you don't land that trick and your scooter hits the floor and boom, explodes. But that's item number two. Number three. Item number three on the list is uh, pretty cheap. It's something that I always have either in my car again or in a bag and uh, it's just a random scrap of grip tape. Now. The reason that this stuff does come in handy is because sometimes it'd be at the park, you'll go to catch like a trip whip and if you have like some super cheap grip tape or something like that, sometimes it'll like kind of peel off on the side of the deck and that's gonna affect your riding uh, because you're not able to catch a tail whip, like I said, or a bridle whip or something like that properly. So it's always good to have an extra sheet of grip tape. Again, you don't have to have a full sheet. You also don't have to have a mega roll like this one that comes from Envy. I think we can all agree that you can get grip tape to be pretty small and you can just have like a little tiny tube of it in your backpack. Now, all of these items will fit in like a little fanny pack. A lot of you guys might be wearing those like kind of side satchel kind of things. Uh, and if that's what you like, that's perfect because this is plenty small enough to fit inside of one of those as well as that wax that we talked about and those bar ends. So if you're looking to get like something that's gonna get you by during a session and this is again something that comes in handy, maybe you, maybe you might not even need it. Maybe just one of your friends is riding and uh, his grip tape's just thrashed and you're thinking like, oh, I could help this guy out. Um, there you go. And you guys could like play a game of scoot for, for like little items like, again, grip tape or bar ends and things like that. It's just, it's just good to have stuff like this in your bag and grip tape's definitely one of them. Um, this is kind of like a super cheap roll. Uh, it's all rolled up kind of tight and these are like four or five dollars and you can get like a full sheet of grip tape if you want to get like, um, like a scooter brand of grip tape. It's like whatever, eight or nine bucks, maybe 10 bucks. But if you wanted to go a little bit bigger, get like a full sheet of like a plain color of grip tape, they're usually like 10 or 15 bucks. Um, but yeah, that's again, something that's nice to have in your bag. These are all like kind of just in case items. You don't have to have them, but it is nice again, just in case. Number four. Item number four on the list is something that we all know of and all of us have been there at the skate park and something goes wrong on our scoot and we don't have these and it literally kills us because we have to either go home or you gotta go to like a local like Walmart or a Home Depot or something like that and this item is super cheap and all you need is two Allens. We all need these, we have to have these because at, at any time, at any moment during your session, your wheel could come loose, your clamp could come loose, your bar ends, your metal bar ends, those could come loose. Anything can come loose on your scooter. And if you don't have a set of Allen wrenches and a decent set of Allen wrenches, you're gonna be in trouble. If you have some that are super stripped out, just go get some new ones. These are so, so cheap. They come with your scooter. If you guys buy like an Envy Prodigy, these come with an Envy Prodigy and the ones that come with them are actually pretty good. And if you don't have any and you don't know where to go to get some cheap ones, you like go to Home Depot and they're super expensive, I get it. Just go to, again, 99 cent store, Dollar Tree. You can get these things for a dollar. You can get a whole set of Allen wrenches for 99 cents. That's like, the, the dimes that you find in your couch money. I used to go like grab that, that, that money that I would find like stuffed down in the couch and go buy like little tools like these and it was nice to have them because I always had them. I always had these in my bag. So you guys are in a pinch, you need something to get you by or somebody else at the park doesn't have them and, and they might need them. You can make a friend by just loaning them an Allen wrench. This is a five, this is a six. Always have a five and a six and possibly even a four. So if you guys can get a single four, two fives and possibly two sixes, you'll be in the game. But definitely two fives and at least one six because uh, that'll get you by in a lot of different pinches that you can get yourself in at the skate park. Okay, that's number four, the last item on this list, number five. The final item on today's list doesn't have to be this one specific item. It can be something else that's like this. And uh, it's just an old set of grips. And it doesn't even have to be two grips. It can be one. If you have one old, nasty, used up, melted, disgusting, colored, no donut having grip, 
No bar end ever having while it was ridden grip. So it's all torn up grip. That'll work. It's good to have one of these because you can use these as sound deadeners. Now, a lot of times people be riding their scooters at the skate park and your brake might come loose, right? And you tighten down like that, that brake bolt of yours like as far as you can, almost to the point to where it's starting to strip it and it's not tight enough. You can use like this little part of the flange on this grip or any other part of this grip for that matter and just put it inside of that little that little space that's between your brake and your deck and it'll act as a washer and a sound deadener. So you can get that little bit of leverage that you need to make your scooter shut up, sound good, and continue your session. And if you don't have headphones to block that stuff out, you won't lose your mind. If you don't have an old crappy grip or something like that, you can probably literally find one like on the ground somewhere or on that old bike that you don't use. Or you can even go out and find an old bike that nobody used in a trash can and use the grip on that. Just take that grip, it's in the trash. But if you really, really cannot find an old nasty grip, uh, things like this will work. Just like a little like rubbery kind of um, bracelet. These will work just fine too. These are like just little pieces of rubber. Again, something that's small. You can just put two or three of these in your bag and use it like and it's really nice to have so um, if you if you're in a little bit of a pinch you don't have a grip grab a bracelet or some other kind of um, like rubbery kind of squishy material and uh, again it can get you out of a pinch in a lot of different ways there are some other items i'd like to talk about but for today's video those are five dirt cheap scooter parts that you should always have. Things that you can get at a dollar store, you can get them at Home Depot, you can find some, again, in your garage, in, in a trash can somewhere. Not that I'm saying everybody likes to go dumpster diving, but it's something I've always liked to do. Hopefully one of these items helps you guys continue your session at the skate park or if you're riding in the street. And uh, these have definitely helped me out in my scootering career. And uh, if you guys have any other items that we should have in our bags, let us know in the comments below. But until next time, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, later.